Hello everybody, how are you all? I really hope that you're all well. I've got a lovely story I'm going to read to you today and it's one of my really favourite stories. It's a lovely little story and it's called Ruby's Worry. And the author of this book is Tom Percival and I love the illustrations in this story and I love the little message it gives to us all, children and grown-ups. Are you ready? There's a picture of Ruby. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high and she loved to explore wild faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day. She discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. It was a very big one. In fact, it was so small that at first Ruby hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. Each day it got a little bit bigger. It just wouldn't leave her alone, even when she was playing. It was there at breakfast, staring at her over the cereal box. And it was still there at night when she cleaned her teeth. And the funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. Only Ruby knew about it. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. She, she tried to carry on as if everything was normal. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things that she loved. Ruby worried if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Do you know what though? Ruby didn't realise, but she was doing the worst thing you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. And now the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at tea time. But remember, nobody else could see it. Only Ruby knew about it. It filled up half of the school bus. And it took up whole rows at the cinema. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about. And it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Then... One day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. And he looked how she felt. Look at him sitting there. And then she noticed something else. Something hovering next to him. Oh, could it, could it be a worry? It was. Ruby realised that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. Other people had them too. So she soon realised, she's thinking, oh, well, he had a worry that nobody could see. And he had a worry that nobody could see. And she did too. Other people had them too. 
she asked the boy what was on his mind. And as he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. Then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. And as the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. And look how much better Ruby's feeling. And look at a friend. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time she'd had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for long. Children, this story really reminds us that if you are ever worried about anything or you've got something on your mind, then tell someone. You choose someone that you love or someone that you trust and you tell them anything at all that, they're, that you're worried about and they will help you. And I promise you, you would feel so much better and your worries would go away. I hope you all take care and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.